tips that you can give some people who want to do what you're doing? Make videos that you love. Mm -hmm. Like there have been times like where I, I mean, I've, I've fallen into this trap too, where you see, oh, something's popular. I got to go make a video about yeah. it. You don't do it really well. You're not really into it. You're just doing it for the views and your audience can tell, like they know when you're not doing what you love. And so you always have to make sure that you do videos, something that really matters to you, something that you really love. And from a technical standpoint, have good sound. I, I see yeah. so many people, like I made that mistake as well, where I didn't have good sound in my videos and people run away from that. Like, dude, uh, amateur yeah. dude. Yeah, like, like, sorry, it was a bad crackle, day. Crackle, crackle, yeah, yeah. So what other tech tips do you have? I mean, like what kind of cameras do you use? Editing, all that fun stuff. For, for, um, for like my videos, I use a Canon T2i, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, you can get a Canon T1i, anything like that. Anytime you get you get some sort of a pro DSLR mm -hmm. camera, your videos are going to jump 10 times in quality just looking at that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even the less expensive cameras are really good, just as long as like you try to make sure the room is quiet, not super echoey, like don't stand in a crowd and vlog because no one can hear you when you're vlogging. So find a quiet room without the air conditioner running. And graphics wise, I was getting some tips in terms of how you set your YouTube channel mm -hmm. because you said you're a graphic designer. Yeah, yeah I did that for, for many years. I had a graphic design company for a while back whenever I lived at home and uh, I would do like business cards and stuff and then I found out that by doing the design myself mm -hmm. like as I, as I taught myself how to use Photoshop really well it was like well wow I just saved like ten thousand dollars in design work just doing yeah. it myself and I think a lot of youtubers actually like I mean if you teach yourself how to do things mm -hmm. you don't have to pay someone else to do it so now that there's a new YouTube layout what are some tips you can give people in terms of what to do how to get their videos seen properly in the mm -hmm. best way uh, well, if you're not a YouTube partner, like the best thing that you can do is have a really good thumbnail image. Yep. Not, not a thumbnail, but your user picture, the little square picture. Yep. Make sure that one, it, it's bright and colorful so people see it. When yep. you leave comments, places, and stuff like that, it helps in your visibility. Because sometimes like they have the new recommended channels feature on the mm -hmm. side. Well, people will pop up there and it's pretty much like you're on the front page of YouTube. So if you're doing videos, make sure you have a really good image there because that's what's, that's pretty much your advertisement, your little mm -hmm. square of advertisement on the side. So I, I would put a lot of thought into that. And also, you know, like make sure, like for me on my channel, I don't have my latest videos always on the front page of my channel. I actually have a playlist of like videos, like my best, my top 10 best videos that I've done so far. So for people who aren't familiar with who I am, mm -hmm. go to my channel, they see all my 10 best videos that I've done. And then you go to the feed maybe to see more of your activity. Right, yeah. And they can see like the videos that I've liked and favorited and stuff like that. So. Cool. Like a little blog. It was good to know. We were yeah, talking about yeah. this before. It helped yeah. me. Hopefully it can help <laughs> you too. Yeah.